Hello, Pisces. So keep in mind, no reading can resonate with every Pisces on the planet all the time. Also keep in mind that energies can be reversed. So if I say that you did something and you know that you didn't, it simply means to be aware that someone else in this situation most likely did, whether you are aware of it or not. Now I'm going to have to do this reading a little different. To be honest with you, it doesn't make sense in sentence form. So I'm just going to tell you kind of what I'm feeling is the energy. Again, please remember, this may not be you. This may be someone that you're dealing with or someone in your environment. Okay, so to begin with, we have uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Scorpio. So for some of you, you could be dealing with all three of these zodiac signs, or maybe you're not. It's just an energy. Um, there is also Aquarius uh, energy present in this reading, which may mean something it may not. But starting off this reading is telling me that you guys, either you're having issues with insomnia or you're having issues with anxiety. It's a like a loop of thoughts going on and on and on in your head or not being able to make heads or tails of something. And it's like, you know, I'm just so close to just giving up. I just don't know what to do, right? Some of you are trying to heal yourselves. Um, I also get the feeling that some of you are trying to protect someone. You may be trying to protect yourself, but it feels more like you're trying to protect someone else. There could be cover-ups, um, but if there are, I feel like you're involved in them, meaning that you're helping to protect someone. I also want to caution you um, about fires, not that that's going to happen to you, but I do see it's supposed to be chimneys smoking, but it looks like houses are on fire. So I just want to say that. Also, some of you may be fearing your own inner light, or maybe you fear, um, like you fear being a star, you fear your inner light, or maybe you fear healing a situation for some reason. That is very possible. And I'm going straight to the clock now. So there may be something here that is time sensitive or maybe it's been going on for a long time. It could be any of that. Also scales. What do scales tell me? Something's flaky. Something's, mm, yeah. Maybe things are rough around the edges. I don't know. So, you know, I talked about the anxiety <clears throat> And or like insomnia, that kind of thing. I just want to say, I feel like your guides are also checking on you. Or someone is kind of watching for your um, reactions and you're not allowing them to see your reactions. That's another thing that I'm feeling. Anyway, so then we go into... Maybe there were actions that you took um, that you're unsure of or that you regret. It could be anything like that. Or you could just be feeling overwhelmed. And for most of you, this is about making improvements to a situation. Maybe because you're trying to cover up for this person. Um, but for some of you, it also could be um, feeling overwhelmed about a third party situation could also be that. You definitely are cherishing someone here. Um, if there is a third party situation, you have your eye more on one than the others. And remember, third-party situation does not have to be romantic, but it definitely can be. But definitely feel a sense of adoration going on here. 
Either way, there is a tower moment, sudden unexpected change. This could be um, electrical storms or electrical issues, or this could be um, someone being evicted or someone losing their status or anything that could happen suddenly that's not really expected or not expected at that time. So there's something happening here. And it could be because of lusty behaviors, or it could be that you charged forward with something without thinking it through first. Um, I just call this either, you know, either lusty behaviors or this is hasty behaviors, right? So some of you, like I said, charging forward, not really thinking things through, or you did the other thing I said. So you're kind of being a fast talker here. I kind of see you like going in trying to assert your spot, your dominance, your, um, how do I explain that? It's almost like you're trying to claim this land, so to speak. Nobody can have this land or this whatever this is, right? But it's because of the lusty behaviors or um, the hasty behaviors. It's like you're trying to swoop in and stop this tower from happening. And some of you may be doing that through hasty behaviors or lusty behaviors. It could be any way, either way. Some of you may have a lot of options also. I'm going to say that. But you're afraid to make a choice, potentially about a new beginning or a large gift. It could be that as well. Something's being handed to you. Um, but because of a family situation or a marriage um, or that picture-perfect appearance, you have a guilty conscience about ending it, right? So for some, you know, this could be um, someone who is with more than one person. For others, this could be that somebody who just went in and did some, some potentially nasty things. Um, it's not that these people don't care about each other so much as it is that there's a guilty conscience about ruining the perfect family or the perfect marriage. That's what I'm getting for some. Um, there also could be some of you that are dealing with someone who is afraid to deal with a part, third party type of situation. Um, and others who may be dealing with somebody who doesn't want to improve a new beginning so they ended it even though they were charging forward hastily or engaged in lusty behaviors this person was just a fast talker meaning that they did not plan to follow through okay so um, that is the reading for Pisces again like I said this will not resonate with every Pisces it also can be somebody that you're dealing with um, but just keep it in mind so if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.